Good morning or good afternoon and welcome to Supercar TV by Auto Vivendi. Today we've got something very different and something very special to do a video on. So without further ado I'll show you what we are vlogging today. Here it is. The McLaren P1. Now it is a very very special machine. Finished in a one of one Austin yellow with all the stealth pack. So carbon on the side, carbon on the back, and then all the carbon along the front as well. Which at the moment, carbon wingers as well. Basically, the whole car is carbon fibre absolute everywhere if I roof scoop as well if I unlock and open her up so I've got the keys here the carbon fiber key as well click the unlock button I love the headlights on this all the wake up lights also with our Lamborghini Aventador here but that will be in another video if you want to see that. So up comes the doors. With look, just carbon fibre absolutely everywhere. Number 301. So without further ado, let's jump on in and have a look around. So we are now inside the McLaren P1. And what a place it is to be. Just, you're surrounded by carbon fibre. Absolutely everywhere. Basically what we'll do, I'll just give you an in-depth tour of the inside of the car. If you haven't seen what the McLaren P1 is like inside. Especially this sort of one, as obviously it is one of one, so some of the bits are different compared to the other P1s out there, the other 375 of them in the world. So if I grab the camera, I'll show you, I'll show you some of the stuff that obviously any other P1 would not have. So the main thing on the steering wheel, you have this finished in the same color, the little yellow band finished in the same color as the car, which is obviously the Austin yellow. And we'll just have a look around. Carbon, carbon absolutely everywhere you've got the gloss carbon down and then but what a place it is to be it's very very special also got the DRS and I pass and I'll explain to you shortly what they do. But let's get the ignition on. So the start button is up here, followed by the E mode and the charge. So this is the problem, You're trying to pick up the key. Is it gonna work? Yeah, let that fire into place. You got reverse, neutral, drive, the hazards boot opening and obviously locking of the car you get this nice little McLaren display come up and McLaren come up here as well the fuel on the right and it will be the miles and stuff come up on the left hand side but I may need to start the car for that so I'll tell you what I'll do I'll put the door up and let you guys hear it let's fire her into life You can hear it doing all its clicky stuff.
really does make it is so loud not not so much when you're actually driving it but on the cold start when you actually do open it up it does sound pretty awesome now let me continue to show you around the displays so over here we've got the uh, oil level at the top water level battery uh, the uh, emo charge and then the uh, fuel and then over here it will tell us so it will say it's got five miles of just running on e-mode so it's pretty pointless about 192 miles until we've got a fuel uh, 728 miles is on this car so not many so it still is pretty brand new and then you've got the rev counter up here which obviously does change considering whether you're in race mode or just normal so I'll show you here you've got the active button which allows you to then put it into manual and play around with it you've got neutral sport and then track mode and then same here neutral sport track for the aero as well down here you've got launch race mode and boost which boost is to do with the uh, iPads button so that's basically the same as the F1 system for Kurs where as soon as you hold that down that gives you the whole 900 plus horsepower of the car and then the DRS I will put the car into race mode and show you how exactly that kind of works obviously it won't, the wing won't go down because obviously I'm not moving anywhere but I'll show you how the wing kind of you'll get the, you'll get the idea and now let's have a little play around with the system. So you've got your phones, media, radio, navigation, apps, and voice. So we'll have a look around apps on apps. You've got the browser, you've got like Google Maps sort of thing, tune in to listen to your music and the uh, weather. And then obviously you get the rest of the ideas with the phone and radio. And then the aircom, which is quite cool. You get the little race driver come up. Yeah, it works like that. So, if we go out of that. But it is a very, very cool place to be. Also got the uh, yellow stitching with the yellow McLaren symbol in the back on your, on your headrest. Look, we've got carbon fiber up here as well, if you can see that all the way through to the back over here you've got the uh, lights and then you've got the wing mirrors and the parking sensors which I'll keep off so obviously it is quite close to the wall at the moment now down here you have the uh, lifting system and stuff like that so if I pull this towards me or push it away from me you can play through the settings if you can see that you've got vehicle lift your trip language, vehicle info, settings, and back to your home. Now on the vehicle lift, it lifts the front and the back, whereas the Lamborghini Aventador next to us, that only lifts the front of the car, but this does both, both ends. Now, to put it into race mode, what you have to do is hold down race, Get this come up. Race mode is suitable for track use only. Do not use on a public highway. Ensure ground clearance and moving aerodynamic surface do not cause hazard. You can read that for yourself. So you've got to press and hold race again to put it into race mode. Uh, I'm trying to think whether you'll want to see it inside the car. What I'll do, I'll put it into race inside the car so you can see it play around with how it plays around with on the system and then I'll show you taking it out of race mode outside so you can see the wing going down so what we have to do we have to hold race mode again and here we go It takes about 30 seconds, as you can see it's got the time counted down and now the car's doing what it's got to do with lyre which I'll get out and show you how 
how low this car really does go when it's in race mode and then the displays change you've got the DRS bar going up charging and then to use the boost I'll show you that in a second I'll let you show the DRS bar go up then press so you press the boost and that brings you up a nice red display bar on the right hand side but it's not suitable for the road we do use it but so it does look a lot more awesome in race mode compared to when it's just in comfort mode or whatever you want to call it so I'll get outside and show you what it looks like in race mode now Some of them do, but not many of them. Uh, show you how you fill the car up and charge it if you don't know already so on each side of the car you have these two black sort of flaps which push down on pop up and the fuel goes in here so there's no caps or anything like that you just put the nozzle straight in there and start filling up and now it won't go down because the car self-locked itself, so I need to unlock it and then push it back down. And if I go around to the other side, it is the same again. This is for the uh, charging. So you have this little here, unclip it. I can get that out. There we are. Put that there for a second. 
and down here you have the charging dock which you get this and plug it in and then turn it on from here and yeah it will start charging the car you don't really use that a lot as you can charge the car whilst it is moving by pressing the charge button which I should already get shown you on the inside so lock it back in like so and so look the car's locked itself again so you unlock it and push it back down now I will show you the boot as I can get round here so to lock it, unlock it there's a little button inside the car well, obviously I'm not in the car so I'll just press the uh, button on the key and then you've got the little button in here which you push down inside the vent and the boot comes up it is so light oh. on set the car alarm's going off there we are and all the carbon inside is mad there is not a lot of boot space you can't get that much in there but it is quite it is quite low but yeah it's not a lot it's a fire extinguisher but just the carbon but just hear that noise it's just unbelievable the same up here as well Oh, why does it keep self-locking itself? It's so annoying. And then it, the boot is so light. Just push it back down. And then, like so, push it down like that and it will lock itself again. Then I'm going to lock the car before it goes off again. But yeah, that, so that is the petrol cap the, and then the uh, to recharge the electric inside the car and then the uh, boot, which is unbelievable. So yeah, there we are. That was a short video of our Austin Yellow McLaren P1. Uh, if you want to see more videos of this, uh, don't forget to put it down in the comments and like the video also. And same again if you want to see a video on our uh, Lamborghini Ventador. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers. <coughs>